Hello everyone. In this video, I will show an example of how to assign many to many um, objects in many to many relationships in uh, Microsoft Dataverse or Dynamics 365 CRM or sales application in bulk. Um, at the moment in the interface, you don't have this possibility and um, I will show you how to do the useful application using Power Apps to fix this problem. So we've got a Dynamics 365 sales app in this scenario. Say we've got contact records and um, the contacts can be part of the marketing list. So let's say we can see in the related fields, so the related objects, we've got a consumer discretionary. This is the marketing list that we are using at the moment. And um, let's say there is already a few people linked to the marketing list. Um, as we all know, marketing lists have um, many to many relationship with uh, content contacts entity and um, this is one of the complexities of the system because there is no way where I could go say I will select multiple contacts and add them to marketing list right let's say in marketing lists um, you see first of all there is no way but even if it was developed by Microsoft, let's say we've got a custom entity which has many to many relationship with contacts and there is no way in the current interface where we can do this bulk operation of associating many contacts to marketing lists to many marketing lists. Now let's say we've got a couple of contacts which are not associated with a marketing list that we've got. And um, those records will be used for the test case that we are running here. Right? So what we are going to do, we are going to create a Power Apps application that will allow us to uh, link selected marketing list to a group of contacts. So here is my Power Apps uh, application. So I have a drop down with marketing lists. So the data is coming from my Microsoft Dataverse environment, marketing lists, and uh, another combo box I've got with contacts. And um, I made those controls. So this one I can select multiple contacts and if I change the value, I'm populating the marketing list members collection with selected items, right? So and I've got a button um, which works the, the following way. So what it does is for all the records in the marketing list members, I'm adding the co I'm adding the column current contract ID, so I can filter then the contacts data source. And I'm using relate function. Relate function allows us to associate with, um, so one, the table. In this case, um, you see for any, for in the combo box one, I've got marketing lists. In this case, for every selected marketing list, there is a list of contacts which is associated with the marketing list. And what this function does, it basically creates this many to many objects in the database that link every contact that I selected to the marketing list. And therefore, it does the uh, many to many relationship for me. Now, if I run the app, so I'm selecting my marketing list 
and then I'm selecting the contacts that I want to add. So I want to do Alex and I do team and say this other one. I can see who I'm adding. So this app allows me to see. And then I hit associate. It's done. Now, if I go back to my records and see in the marketing list, see, it's adding the marketing list that I was after. Let's check this one. Same. And there was Kim. Same. So that's what we've got here. So with um, one simple application, we made it possible to apply many-to-many -many relationship object in bulk, which is very useful. That is all for now. I hope the video was useful. If you want um, more useful content on our channel, please subscribe, like the video, click the bell button to receive all the notifications and stay tuned. Bye bye.